All right, so in this one, we are gonna be setting up our router. That is, we're gonna create our URLs to actually work with our app. So if I click on this, it will route correctly. Right now, it's showing the same app over and over. So it's just showing essentially the same view over and over. But what we want is to see the individual component that actually will match to this, like any given route, right? So if I click on a detail item, I should see the detail component. If I click on the list item, I should see the list component and so on. So to do this, we have to actually add in a few things to our app. First things first, I'm gonna check inside of app dot, or excuse me, index.html. I'm gonna check this base.href equals to slash. So this is basically saying that this index.html file is the base root. So it's, it's the index root. You wanna make sure that you have that because it does look for it. So the next thing I need to do is actually import my router module. Um, so if I was actually following along with the documentation, I would go this direction. But since I'm going to be doing it in its own module, I'm not gonna be following the documentation exactly. So what I wanna do is inside of my app, I'm gonna make a new one called, a new file called app.routing ts so app.routing.ts is going to go at the very bottom and we're going to import a few things here first off i'll import and this is router module and routes from at angular slash router okay so this is really how we're going to be defining our actual router i also want to import the ng model so import ng model from Angular core, okay? So I'll tab this in and this should be ng module, there we go. Um, and I also wanna import some of my components. So I'm actually just gonna import my two components that's video list and video detail. Those are the only two that I really wanna work with right now, okay. So I've got my components and I've got the imports that I need necessary. So I'll just say const as in constant and we'll say app routes colon routes equals to a list or an array of dictionaries. So first off we'll say path and I'll say videos and then we'll add component and this is the video detail or excuse me, the video list component, okay? And along those lines, I'll go ahead and copy this, put a comma, paste below it, and we'll say video detail component. So we've got this path of videos. Um, I do wanna have it dynamic, so I want it to be able to change with whatever path, path is added. So if we look at back at that video list component, we have this video list of a slug. So we actually have slug items. So what I wanna do is actually implement those as a slug. So slug will actually get these items in particular. So I'm gonna add in slug here, and that's gonna make it more dynamic. It's gonna actually load more dynamically. Okay, so now what I wanna do is say app ng module, and we're gonna say imports. So the first one is imports. And this one will be router module dot for route app routes. There we go. So we got our router module. The next thing we need is exports. We wanna export the router module. And then we wanna export class. I'm gonna actually give us some space below this so we can see it better. We're gonna export class app routing module, just like that. So this is my routing module app. Something I will tell you right now is that if you copy this and put it in module, paste it in here, and just did this, 
into the module, um, into our import, it will work very similarly. Actually, let's get rid of those. But this will, it will work roughly the same. But then it's kind of making my app module a little bit too crowded. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So what we did instead was, okay, so what we did instead was have my actual app routing module right here, right? So, um, oops, we got this, we don't need that. There we go. Um, so now I've got this app routing module. I can actually go into my component and import that routing module itself. So import app routing module from dot slash app dot routing. And now that I have this app routing module, I can just simply add this into my imports. Okay, cool. So I've got most of it set up with one exception. Now on app component.html, I need to app add in the router outlet. So this these can actually be routed. So let's say router-outlet, and we'll close off that router outlet. I'll save it, and we'll go back into our component. Okay, so it looks like everything should be working fine. Everything's saved, and I see that it's compiled successfully. If I refresh in my app, uh, looks like everything's working fine. If I click on item one, um, it says cannot match any routes, right? URL segment item dash one. That should make sense because of our routes are uh, videos and slug. So let's go ahead and just go to videos. And I see that it's actually loading two things here. So we might have to update how this looks, but notice that the video list is duplicated. It shows it twice. Um, that's cool. Now, if I go to videos slash item dash one, hit, hit enter, it does say video detail works. Okay, so why is it that all this other stuff is coming through? Well, our original app component is now kind of like the holder for, could be our navigation and it could be all other stuff, but it's really our holder for our router outlet now. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment those things out. We'll save it and back into my Router outlet, I see that video detail works, it's by itself. If I go to videos, also by themselves, so the video list is by itself. If I go to that main homepage there, uh, there's nothing there, right? And that's because of how our app component is actually running this. So I could put some stuff in here. So I could keep that H1 stuff in here if I was so inclined. But keep in mind that whatever I put in here, will be on all of those pages. So going back to videos, there we go. So that is something to note. So what do we do about our homepage, like routing? What about having an actual page specifically for being home? That is with no other files. So let's go ahead and just quickly copy videos and I'm gonna give it as an empty path. So we've got our video list component is in two spots now. So we've got an empty list path going back into where I put my router. I see that it's still there, right? And now on my home page, I see that videos is loading, right? So that's pretty cool. And of course, if you wanna see a little bit more about this, which I do recommend that you do, uh, in our routing, I'm gonna just like put a little comment to the docs so you can see more routing related stuff. We obviously are gonna be using a lot more of this in the near future. So stay with us in the next one. We'll actually work with this slug stuff to have that make sense. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.